Let's go ahead and extinguish those lights. Where are we at? Matt or Mike? Field or power? Wow, what happened there? Oh, no, no. I don't think that's a restart. That might mean Mike, Mike Power will find out officially, but Matt Field continues through the court. And that's exactly what he needs to do. He's in that big position. He's in the car kit. Look at that. I mean, Matt Field. The four-star wheels go round with the Falcon tires wrapped around them. Nice job there. That's a high-level run, Jared. That was, I mean, if that's a qualifier, you'd see them in the wing. But let's lay out for Matt Field, Falcon Tire, Drip Cave, Corvette. Lay out list of the Beast of the Bay. Who's gonna put it down? And Dylan Hughes through that start chicane. Going across the nose of Mike Power and a Sylvia. Look at that, we see Dylan Hughes, big angle there. Mike kind of rolling into it. Did exactly just go, his rate to angle wasn't very quick from Power. Now, oh. oh, and a big correction there from Dylan Hughes. Oh man, he comes out of drip, that might have. Yeah, that sounds mechanical. Yeah, that's obviously mechanical. Maybe axle or power steering. But guess what? With that major mistake. This is his by run advancing on power. will go against Burkett in 16. Let's see what we got, boys. Let's get a clean, let's get a clean fight here. Dan Burkett leaves that start chicane. Make some noise, Atlanta, come on, here we go. Dan Burkett, Mike Power, coming into that first inside clip. Big angle there from Dan Burkett, Mike Power. Transitions through, Mike Power taking a way shallower line, gets into the dirt, Dan Burkett, that's what you're talking about, Lantane. Whoa. Whoa, Mike Power overshoots that second outside zone. Dan Burkett needs to continue on through the course. Mike Power struggling right now. One more turn for a massive advantage there for Dan Burkett. Again, Burkett is driving. Years, but I, I think strategy-wise, Dan Burkett just needs to play it cool, and he's going to have the victory here as Mike Power had that major mistake. Power out front initiates. He needs to throw, throw down a solid lead run here as Dan Burkett. Look at that's what Mike's doing exactly what he needs to do. A little bit more composed. Burkett does take a shallower line, but mind you, Mike Power did not get all the way out to that second outside zone. And now in the, into that final clip. Here we go. Going against Mike Power from New York. Power Racing S15. And here we go. Chelsea Denofa initiates. Like you said, there's some smoke, there's some steam. Woo. Big angle from Denofa. Backs it in, just slamming bumpers. Mike Power takes that tight line, knocks over the cone, goes over the jump. A little wider swing by Mike Power. Chelsea Denofa gets into that crease. I think, I, I, I think, I think there's some. All right, here we go with Mike Power, Chelsea Denofa, Mike Power out front. Oh, you can see him working up there. Got scared of that wall. And now comes into that first clip. Chelsea Denofa really tight. Now into that second clip. Oh. Mike Power, massive angle, but... Oh, he comes out. That's gonna be an incomplete for Power, unfortunately. Yes, it is. So, the, the, the opportunity was there for Mike Power. Oh, feel the thunder of Mike Power. Here we go, Matt Field will lead. Mike Power give a chase. Matt Field coming into that first outside zone. Mike Power, and he knows his course. He wants to throw down. Matt Field using all of it. He punts that cone out of the way, and Mike Power goes. And of course he hits Matt Field. 
Dude, it, like, that's the only one he has. So, here's the outcome. What's going to happen? We'll find out. Mike Power, Matt Field, second half of this battle. And here comes Mike Power into that first outside zone. Matt Field initiates. Here comes Mike Power into that second outside zone. Now, I have to think that, you know, given the, the confidence level of Matt Field, and he knows he has an advantage, I don't think he's going to try to stick it to the door of Mike Power. And that's saying a lot because Matt Field traditionally is a, a no holds barred kind of driver. And I think that's going to be the case. Uh, always, always a fan favorite, Adam LZ in this AutoZone Ford Mustang RTR. Trying to leave the start line to pace it a little bit, but maybe jumped a little too early. And he is allowed to do that, FYI. Mike Power in that lead position. And look at Adam LZ bathing in that smoke once again. And I uh, wonder if, what that smoke is going to do to his line. And now transitioning into that final outside zone, Mike Power. And then Adam LZ in tow. Let's take a look at this again here. Once the extinguisher ready to go, look for a big run here from Adam LZ. One of the fan favorites. The signature fade, about to fade into that first outside zone. Flirting with the dirt. Almost getting into the dirt, Adam LZ, but Mike Power tucks in that middle tire smoke. Adam LZ slaps that back RTR bumper, gets out of shape a little bit into outside zone three, straightens out Adam Ooh. LZ. Looks like he's having some issues taking that tighter line. And Mike Power has the front pad set off in the distance. The gateway to the west. See at the crossroads. This is round five of the Formula Gear Pro Championship. Kazuya Taguchi coming into that first outside zone. Mike Power not getting all the way into that first outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi does. Now into the outside zone two. You see Kazuya using all the course. Mike Power taking a bit of a shallower line. The Type S lights are glowing underneath into that third outside zone. And now the final and fourth outside zone. Taguchi putting that GT radial tire. The back right properly in the, the car left. can leave that start line. You'll see them kind of roll into it to pace themselves to make sure. And Kazuya does a really good job. Look at that. Tip to tail initiates. Could have been a little closer there, but just as I say that, now coming into that second outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi ducks through that smoke. Good job out front by Mike Power. That 2J powered S15. Now coming on into that final outside zone. That's what you're talking about. So Mike Power did a really good job, but Kazuya Taguchi, I think, with getting ready. And here we go. Denofa will lead Power giving chase. Denofa coming out of the start chicane, initiates into the big bang. He always likes to start out strong, big angle on Power, a little lower than Denofa. And now into that second outside zone. There goes Denofa putting that ditto tire. Oh, and big hit from Power. Hits him square. And Chelsea Denofa continues on, but Mike Power shuts it down. That was pretty game right there. Kind of nosing in, T-boning him or Y-boning him. I don't know what you call it if you come at an angle. Uh, Wish-boning? Y-boning. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mike Power out front. That Power has a team. Chelsea Denofa giving him some room. But look at Chelsea. You see him reeling him in. Click, 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 click. And then here comes Power now from New York, dropping into that Power Alley. The Power Power Alley right now as Denofa taking a tempered approach. And coming into that last outside zone goes Power and Denofa. And with the extinguish, right turn can leave, Power can leave prior to that. Here we go. Hampshire versus New York coming into. Oh, nice initiation by both of them. Ryan Turk, that big wide mouth. You can see pulling that front left ditto tire off the ground in that second outside zone. Now Mike Power taking a little bit of a shallower line. It's going to set him up. Turk actually could have been a little tighter with that inside clip. Now coming that last outside zone. A lot of these guys having trouble. Look at that getting into the gravel. Yeah, you can so, see his yeah, front wheels move That's the best approach right now for Mike Power to advance on and get through. As I said, Long Beach's winner is Ryan Turk. You know, he's in contention. He's in the championship hunt. This would be a huge blow. And catch him. Look at this. 100 miles per hour. Mike Power comes in, leaves it all out on the track. Now here we go in that first outside zone, transitioning into outside zone two. In outside zone two, need to get that aerial view. Let's see how he handles his inside clip. He nails it. He does what he needs to do. Now coming into that last outside zone. How's Mike Power going to handle this? He is right there on the track edge. He is looking at really taking down Ryan Turk. That's a 
something that keeps keeps being uh, brought up on a regular basis. Here we go, the one more time battle, Ryan Turk versus Mike Power. 99.6, almost 100 miles per hour. Like I said, you gotta bring that X factor here. Mike Power had a great second uh, portion of that first battle, but right now Ryan Turk seems to be finding that sweet spot. He does go off of that second inside clip and he needs to be tighter to that, but Mike Power taking a very shallow line. Ryan Turk wasn't exact, oh, there he goes. Want to get that overhead shot? It's all great inside. There we go. Mike Power will be leading in that power drift. S15. Ryan Turk chasing him down. 99, 102, 102 miles per hour. Mike Power talking about, hey, you know what? I don't care how long you've been here. I'm gonna try to disrupt. Mike Power transitions into that second outside zone. Ryan Turk tries to dive in. Is he too aggressive? Take a look at this here on that second outside zone, going and approaching that final outside zone. Ryan Turk goes off course. And Ryan Turk explodes, going to that third outside zone. Let's make sure he's okay. champion, Frederick Cosmo. Let's lay out and listen to this high work by machine. Mike Power, our first battle for Link Engine Management, Grade 8. Osmo will lead, being our number one qualifier. Mike Power, bring up the rear. Coming into view of the... Oh, Mike Power overshoots it. A wide swing there by Power. Osmo now goes in that second outside zone. And oh my goodness, Mike Power goes off course. Into the wall, Jared. Into the uh, fencing yeah. with the signage on it. Holy cow, Mike Power shoots off to the left. Want to make sure he's okay. He backed it in. Looks wow. like he just hit a, a fence. Nothing secure. You know, it moved pretty pretty easily. So he should make be sure safe. he's okay. Completely. Regardless, so there's, you know, no unit of incomplete, kind of no measure of incomplete. It was just purely incomplete. So uh, here we go. Mike Power. He's gonna initiate fresh Cosmo. Give you chase. Mike Power initiates into that first inside clip. Frederick Osbo right there. He's not backing down, even though he has that advantage. It's a good opportunity to have his way kind of, you know, getting used to and familiar with being in the smoke. And it looks like he is doing that. So Frederick Osbo, Mike Power, a great run out front right now, but unfortunately with that big mistake and an incomplete. Official lighting of the trip. Here we go, Jeff Jones initiates into the bank. Mike Power needs to do a little failure to launch there on initiation from Power. But Power, you can see him dancing down there low on the bank. Jeff Jones, Evo Auto Works. Look that around, you got love, and that's what he's shown to the track and shown to the fans. Jeff Jones continues on through the course, getting Getting low, getting tight. Jeff Jones making it look easy up front. That Type S, S15 from New York. Going against Southern California. West Coast versus East Coast. Mike Power initiates. Look at this, Jeff Jones giving himself a little too much room. All right, oh, and Mike Power gets and taps that wall, stays in it. This is what we saw from him yesterday in qualifying. He hit hard, not once, but twice. Going to that second outside zone. Here comes Mike Power. Now here comes Jeff Jones. Looks like okay, Jones could be closer, but given you know the scenario that he is looking at, Jones just barely crosses that.